Good day, Kadena Hashers. I've decided to do a weekly update on this project, and luckily Founder has also chosen to do the same thing, so he's provided me all the information I need. It's made my job super easy, so thank you for that. Uh, stay till the end, I'll do a quick update showing minting instructions and how to check out your mint. Uh, thank you again to our very own uh, Hashing Witch for once again providing a beautiful backdrop for me to talk over. And we have some graphs uh, to represent to you later that are made by one of our community members, Tio Paul. With all that out of the way, let's get right on to it. First, let's dive into some numbers. As you can see on the screen now, we have some uh, graphs for you that go into some of the numbers that we're talking about. 341,000 is the total NFT sales so far, which is amazing, uh, after just under a week. 256 unique purchasing wallets, so how many different buyers there are for the, uh, the, the NFTs. Average spend per wallet is around 1331, uh, so 1331. So as that obviously preludes into, the largest uh, purchased NFTs were the, uh, the max ones, uh, which were the most popular with over 39% of the entire supply sold. Uh, in total, we have 139 lights sold, 65 pros, and 295 maxes. Largest purchase uh, was a purchase done of 15 max NFTs. Four wallets purchased 10 plus NFTs. So we have quite a few people that have obviously really jumped into the project. 220,000 withdrawn for the purchase of miners already. So we've picked up uh, 20 miners uh, that are being delivered, I believe, sometime next week. Uh, so thanks so much for all that data, and that's. Uh, a really awesome start for the first week in and as we progress and more people find out about the project it's going to be pretty darn awesome but wait there's more uh, some new utility that's been brought to our attention we heard rumors and also had discussions amongst ourselves in the community about uh, mining how to get our own miners how to uh, start the mining process ourselves and although it's been discussed there would be options in the future for kadena hashing uh, nft holders the we didn't know how quickly and we assumed the timeline was much further along uh, the problem in the market can be price gouging as well as lack of hosting solutions and what uh, founder has brought to us or Canadian hashing has brought to us is using their connections they've put they're passing the savings on to the people and uh, and guarantee and offering guaranteed hosting for miners purchased through Kadena hashing uh, based on nft ownership so Kadena hashing has now introduced the Kadena hashing miner marketplace it's going to offer great prices to the general public, even lower prices to NFT holders, shipping directly to your door if you wanted to do the mining yourself, or guaranteed hosting based on NFT ownership uh, for them to host it on the farm. 10% of profits will go back into the treasury for more uh, KH miners. So they've already set up the development team and agreed to terms. Construction on the site is already underway. And this will benefit our NFT holders who want to get uh, into the mining space themselves. So this was a fantastic announcement today that uh, the, the uh, community has gotten really well behind. In the market, in the Discord, you are able to um, fill in a form in order to request one of these potential miners or get a pricing for them. Okay, and lastly, I wanted to go through the minting process again. There are some very, very minute differences between when I did the videos before and wanted to go through that, as well as how you'd go and look up your NFT afterwards. Uh, it looks a little different, so just to show that to you guys. So if you went to the website, you would click on Mint NFT. If you haven't been to the site, it will ask you to link your, uh, your MetaMask wallet to the site. You'll click Mint. Then you'll need to put your KDA address in there and choose which one you'd like to do. When you click on buy, this does not always come up with the MetaMask window like just happened. If that doesn't happen, you will want to click here and you'll see a blue dot there. That means there is a transaction loaded in there and you can click on there to go into it and actually action it. I'm just warning of that because a lot of people have had issues where they have thought a transaction didn't come up, then they went down and did another one. Uh, it really played havoc on a lot of the whitelists if the transaction did load up, then they tried to go again and it was showing their whitelist uh, value not there. Um, so other than that, once you've done that, you can go on NFT, check address, copy your address in there, hit submit, and it'll pull up your, your wallet, your, your NFTs. And the last thing we wanted to look at is the other ways to look up your NFTs. And here you can key in your wallet address again, hit enter. It'll go to a dashboard, but you'll go into the NFT gallery. So at kd5.money, and this way you'll actually be able to view your NFTs as well, 
uh, right in here. Uh, lots of people that have any other IFTs, it's just a nice place to go. This one will take a little bit of time sometimes to load. So if you've already done your NFT purchase and you're not seeing them here, it's a third party website. So it's scraping for data on the Kadena network. And so it doesn't always update every second. So just keep that in mind when you're checking this out. And that concludes our Kadena Hashing Weekly Update. It's been a great uh, start to the project so far. Please like and subscribe. Feedback and suggestions are always welcome. And I definitely uh, have started going down the Kadena rabbit hole and we'll be del delving deeper into what Kadena has to offer and projects that are available on that one. Uh, I'll also be looking forward to maybe going into projects I'm already invested in with some honest deep dives. Please let me know if there's anything else you would suggest uh, and would like to see. And other than that, have a wonderful day. Thanks very much.